Hey guys, it's me again. I know you missed me. I know you missed me. Okay, you're probably wondering what the heck's wrong with her. I don't miss that. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So I went to the dentist today and I thought, well, I'm going to go in there and it'll probably take an hour. It took three, three hours. Okay, maybe not three. It was like two hours and 43 minutes. But I was dying, dying. They had me upside down for at least two of those hours. Three, two and a half. Never mind. Oh, I've messed it all up. You know, you, you lean back, right? Well, this dentist kept leaning me back and soon my feet was way above my head. And I thought, are you kidding me? So I'm, I'm not faking this, guys. Look, that's my smile right now. Okay, guys, I just really hope you like this vlog. It means a lot to me that you come here for me, okay? And that you watch me. But I'm a nice person and I try to include other people so that you, you guys don't get too bored of me. I got dry mouth from all that dentistry work. But I just want to say something, you guys. I really, really appreciate you watching my vlogs. It it tickles my heart down to the inner core. What happened? Oh, <laughs> it's falling asleep like me. <laughs> Do you know I want to go to sleep because I'm in a lot of pain right now, okay? But no, I'm taking this time after I've cleaned my house. I gutted my coat closet. If you watch me on Instagram, I did do that, by the way. I just did dishes. I mopped the floor. I've been yelling at my kids. I help Amanda with math. So you would think I would have time just to sit down and take a sweet moment. But no, I'm dedicated. Thank you for watching this channel. Sometimes people say in the comments, why, does, why do they not have more subscribers? Sometimes I think, is that a put down? I don't know why I don't have more subscribers. I mean, hello but it's all good whether five of you watch this or 45 or 455 or 455,000 or 455 million of you watch this i just want to say thank you thank you so much okay that's it <laughs> what hey guys welcome woohoo welcome no no that's not good welcoming okay you guys welcome to another vlog I am headed out the door here to go run some errands. Nathan was running the other day and he fell on a tire. <laughs> God, it makes it so bad. But I, I mean, that's not bad. It's just, he was in a parking lot and he was running and he, he's not sure if he broke a rib. So we're just gonna go get it checked out. I'm encouraging him to do that. And then after that, I'm gonna come home. And it's just, uh, that's all, okay, bye. Okay, Nathan just says I made him sound like he's so uncoordinated, but you guys have seen enough of Nathan in the vlogs to know that he's nothing but uncoordinated. He's, he's very coordinated. Coordinated in many ways that I'm not. So <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so we're gonna go to the dock and then after that, um, I've already cooked chicken. In fact, we, we're not really going to Chick-fil-A anymore because we found out that there's MSG in their food and I'm sure there's MSG probably in a lot of restaurants, but we just haven't been going there. We just haven't. Um, we're also trying to cut back on eating takeout. So I made my own Chick-fil-A. Literally tastes really good. Where's that sauce? Did you throw it away? Yeah. What? No, don't throw it away. This here, you guys, make your own deep fried chicken and then get this sauce. It tastes just like the Chick-fil-A sauce. Maybe it has MSG in it. Okay, we're just dropping off some library books. I was telling, Nathan, I'm with Nathan. I was telling Nathan that if Chick-fil-A didn't have their Chick-fil-A sauce anymore, I think their doors would close. That's how much like the sauce makes the chicken in my opinion. I offered to drop off the books because his ribs hurting, but he said he'd be okay. Mm. Hey there. I was just telling them that you you offered to drop off the books. There, there's my son. There's my son, Nathan. Close the door. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Headed to the x ray. Right there. Da, da, da. Is it gonna focus? Um, Nathan wanted to know what my hat says. And by the way, if you don't know, that's Brooke Bush's merch. Yeah. <laughs> He's all bushwhacked. We're gonna find out if that rib. Don't worry, I won't poke it. Po smack it. <laughs> What do you think? Broken or not broken? Fractured. Wait, what? Fractured. Oh, not sprained. No. Okay. So he thinks it's fractured. I think it's. I think it's broken because he can't even sleep on it. He said so. We'll find out. 
He was running a parking lot, tripped. Did I tell you that part already? And he fell into a tire. Of a car. Truck. It was a big truck. He says it was a tall truck, so he fell in between the truck and the tire. <laughs> Did Marla have to pull you out? <laughs> okay, I got more information from Nathan. He is playing volleyball at school as of like today. And he said he's able to play, just causes pain. But So if it was like broken, yeah, so I'm gonna go with Nathan and say it's just fractured. I'll be surprised if it's just bruised. So, well, you'll have to stay tuned. Don't click out, okay? Don't click out. I'm like, right, I just need that. And just be like, like, okay, that's good. Okay, well, I'll look which position. You want me to sit, get off the chair? Almost like you can go sit down. Wait, wait, what are you doing? This is my thumbnail, not like that. To go late. <laughs> Your head's supposed to go that way. Nathan's trying to play dead here. Can't close your eyes and hang out your tongue. <laughs> okay, is Nathan gonna make it? That should be the caption. I'll like put, is Nathan gonna make it? Okay, I think he's coming. Go sit back down. <laughs> For our you life. might want to zoom in right there. Oh yeah, there's a fracture right here. And the other question is, uh, is there a fracture close to here? But I don't think there is. So is it That's broken? That's the marker where the pain is. A fracture is a break. Oh, oh, got it. Yeah. So there's wow. a broken bone right there. So Nathan has a broken rib. Yeah. Just one, maybe two. Just one, it looks like. The other one doesn't look like it's been fractured. Okay. Okay, it's been like a couple hours since the last clip. I'm actually at um, Amanda's friend's house just picking her up right now. I wanted to tell you guys about Nathan real quick. There's really nothing you can do for a broken rib. This is really new to us. No one in our family, like my husband, my kids, or, or I have had a broken rib. We were like, oh, okay, like what do we need to do? And he, there's like really nothing you can do. So if you've had a broken rib out there and you've had experience, I would love to hear about it. But what the doctor told us is that obviously like take it easy. And Nathan just signed up for three, literally school just started today for college for the term and he signed up for three like sports classes he had to obviously get a doctor's note so he needs to take it easy and then he said he actually has to be on pain pills he doesn't want him to get addicted obviously so he put on like very low dose so basically the doctor was saying that if you have a broken rib i guess naturally to compensate and heal your body like you naturally take more shallow breaths so that you're not expanding your rib cage so that helps it heal but i guess a side effect of that is that you could like collapse the lung for not getting enough oxygen or something like that and then that causes pneumonia ammonia pneumonia sorry if i'm not saying that right but again this is all new to us so um yeah so that's what the end result was he had a broken rib and he's okay that i'm sharing this by the way of course so he's gonna be all right i just wanted to give you guys that update that closure on that um i'm glad it, it could have been worse the doctor said he could have broke his ribs in a way where he would have needed surgery to like pin them back together so it wasn't that bad but it definitely has been irritating nathan like he's had i packs on it it keeps him up at night he doesn't complain a whole lot at all about the pain he's been having it wasn't until school started and he has these sports classes that he's like i probably should get this checked out i'm like i think you should definitely get it checked out glad he did okay man is coming out now hi hi sorry oh you're fine she has her skateboard with her yeah just put that in the back what um, else do you have oh you're filming i was like who are you talking to <laughs> i'm just talking to myself you can just Want to just climb? Yes, sir. Oh, man. Okay, hi. Was it fun? Yes, it was so fun. Hi, Dad. <gasps> Ralphie came to greet us. Pops. Oh, Pops. Hello. Oh, Pops. oh, hi, Ralph. Hi. 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 Have I been gone a long time? I have, because as soon as I got back, I dropped Nathan off and then I ran the errands for um, just all the groceries that we needed. And that's what Oliver is back there unloading for me. Okay, it's. I always do this. I walk right into this room with this window. Boing! There you go. And it always makes it seem like this, like, woo, where'd that light come from? Anyway, um, it is in the afternoon. It's like later in the day and everyone is at school or at work. And I am home and I'm gonna go on a walk with Ralphie. It's supposed to snow like a lot tomorrow. Actually, it's supposed to snow like the rest of this week. A whole bunch so i blow dried my hair didn't do anything to it so this is i'm not apologizing for it but this is what it is 
Ralphie, you ready for a walk? Want to go on a walk? He's like, I don't know. I'm really sleepy, Mom. Come on, let's go on a walk. Want to go? Come on. Come on, let's go. He puts himself in there, by the way. He loves his kennel. Um, so I want to tell you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, I already posted about it, but I have Amelia. It's, let me see if I can get the camera to... I don't know if that was blurry or not for you, but basically you can go Google it, but it's M-I-L-I-A, Melia, and they're little like hard bumps on your skin. He's just not having it. I'll, I'll convince him to get out. They're little hard bumps on your skin, and you really can't remove them on your own. I've had them around my eye. You coming out? Under my eye, on my eyelid, and now I have one here. Hi. You want to go on a walk with me? Yeah? Oh. Um, update on Nathan. He went to school today. Crazy kid. I mean, he's been living his life not even knowing he had a broken rib. He's just been in a lot of pain and thought it was just severely bruised, but turns out it was broken. Anyway, but he went and did his thing today because college started this week and he didn't want to miss. He did get a doctor's note, so I don't know how that's going to work. Like if his teachers are gonna make him just show up to class because they're like PE classes, or if he will just not have to go, because he got like a two week dismissal. Um, the doctor gave him that long to like heal up and then let him decide on his own if he wants to go back sooner. But going back to my Amelia, I'm getting that removed, so I feel like this vlog's gonna be all about doctor's appointments. Yeah, so I'm gonna go get that removed on Friday, and I may or may not vlog that, we'll see. We'll see how much footage I get between now and the end of the week. It shouldn't take very long and it's just one. I mean, I've had like several removed. I say several, probably like three here and like four here. And I actually have that on one of my older, older, older videos. I don't even know, cause I have another channel, an old channel I don't even post on anymore. And it might be on that, but you can Google it, even YouTube it. I'm sure somebody else has a lot more to say on Melia than I do, but yeah. So I'm gonna go get that removed on Friday. I follow this cooking show on Snapchat of all places. I don't know how I, ran into the like the channel on snapchat it's called watch me cook i think that's what it's called if i'm wrong i can type it here they highlight a bunch of um chefs from instagram that you know come and they basically cook on their snapchat channel watch me cook and this lady did this incredibly looking yummy vegetable um soup i want to call it but it's really thick so i'm going to show you it's basically barley and vegetables with these yummy seasonings i wanted to show last night me cooking it but i just was so tired i was so so tired but um i don't know if you're into vegetables that's gonna look really good too and if not you're gonna like gag me with a spoon but it's actually really really super good and that's what i had for breakfast okay so that was delicious i had that for breakfast but for lunch i am going to have some toast with cheese and honey. Yes, you heard me right. That's what I'm gonna have. Um, I actually learned this from like this idea from the Sacconi Jolies. Don't know if you watch them on YouTube, but um, there are family vloggers who live out in the UK. But anyway, it looks so delicious that I tried it and I'm like, sold, love it. So I'm toasting up right now my bread. I use the Dave's Killer Bread. And then I'm gonna put just a little bit of butter. And then this is the cheese that I'm going to put on it. I got this at Costco. And then I'm just gonna squeeze some honey on top. Hello there, guy. You're being so patient. This is all I could find. <laughs> it's a bucket of honey. So I'm gonna probably microwave some to make it runny because it's like hard honey, you know? Can't pour that on my toast. Okay, my toast is almost done. I melted my honey. I've got my butter out, some honey I'll use, and I cut up the cheese. Let's check the toast. Uh, a little bit more. You can put it like in the broiler to melt the cheese a little bit, but I'm being super lazy. I'm just gonna eat it like this, but it's got the honey, a little bit of butter and the cheese. Okay, I'm all bundled up and ready for that walk and I've got my headphones on, um, AirPods, uh, because I like to listen to podcasts while I'm walking, especially if I'm walking alone. In fact, I only wear them if I'm walking alone. Alfie, come on, let's go. Let's go on a walk. For real this time. Got his leash. Come on, little dude. I guess not. Mom, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna bask in the shade. Come on, let's go on a walk. Good boy. Good boy. 
Okay, let's get you all ready here. Okay, there we go. Let's say hi. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> oh, just gave me a kiss. Okay, I'm gonna try to vlog, but it's kind of hard when, I don't know, when I've got a dog. Let's go on a walk. Let's go, just me and you, little guy. Not so little anymore. Okay, he's gotten in a little predicament here. What am I gonna do with you? Is your friend back there? Is your friend back there? Where's your friend? Aww. Blocked by gate, they wanna say hi, but they can't. Hey, come on. Hi, Ralphie. Marla just got home and she's doing a dance. Hi, dude. He's so excited. He is very excited to see you. <laughs> Wait, isn't the weather so nice right now? No, I like drove home with my windows rolled down. Well, don't get used to it. Tomorrow, we are back on. Guys, look what she brought home. Oh, look at that. So no way. But I did ask her to take it back and glaze it for me. I glazed the top. No, but the bottom. No, that was a lot. Aww, cause it look it scra it scratches things. So if oh, you glaze it, it wouldn't scratch. Throw it away. Huh? No way! I'm not throwing it away. Marla got straight A's, guys. Give her an applaud in the comments for straight A's. Well, the, the, the term hasn't ended yet, so you never know. Okay, well then don't applaud. Right no, I'm just kidding. Um, we got the measurements for the carpet. They came. Came in and then so they'll quote us and then we can, but I, I think we're gonna go pick out different carpet. We didn't really like the carpet that we brought home. This is the one we thought we liked and we're not liking it. So we need to go back and pick out something else. Okay, so Amanda got home from school. She's changed, fed her a snack and uh, look who came in the mail. <laughs> her Bob Ross calendar. I let her pick out like any calendar she wanted. Like, like this. My like one of the sixth grade teachers is like, like no, I like Bob Ross. Oh really? And they she has like um it's like a bobblehead and it's Bob Ross and it has she has like a mini like book thing and it gives them like pictures that he's drawn. It's like this. Oh so really? It's not a calendar book. Well, you have to tell her you got a Bob Ross calendar. Yeah. I actually get a lot of people asking what kind of dog he is. He's a golden doodle and he's five months old and it's obvious Amanda loves to play with him. Something I failed to, like I wanted to tell you guys about is I took down Christmas. It's been down for a while. Man down. Man down. Christmas down. Christmas and um, down. yeah, we all kind of put it, to, like we, no, we went sledding and then we came and then home. We came home yeah. yeah, it was, I think the day after. It was, I think January 2nd. 2nd. It was January 2nd. But we took down Christmas, it's all gone. I always feel like, like my house is barren without Christmas. It, it feels bare, but at the same time, it kind of feels like clean. Like, like a new slate. Almost. Yeah, yeah, like for the new year, but new it's start. nice. She's wearing my I'm sweatshirt, cool. but I told her she can have it. But it no. <laughs> like we'll share it. Yeah, but it's like a blanket, so it's nice. Okay guys, I'm gonna real quick show you the update of what the house looks like with Christmas put away. Starting in the front room, we got Ralphie here. Oliver's still here reading a book, but we put away the Christmas tree, which was right in front of this window. That couch was in the other room. Christmas stuff here gone. Piano cleared of Christmas. And this armoire here is cleared of Christmas, except I left the garland out with the lights. And over here we have like all our winter shoes. Okay, walking into the kitchen, we cleared everything off up there above the cupboards. I did have a sign up here. I took that down. We did have Christmas on the table. That's all gone. And then here in our family room, TV room, we, okay, so here's the chair that I was talking about that we just got at Costco. Um, if you watched the last vlog or two, um, that's what was in the other room. And then that couch was right here. Mainly I had Christmas on that shelf over there and it's gone. Um, I did buy these reindeer pillows for, they're from H&M. Um, I ordered them online and I thought, oh cute, reindeer. But I kind of feel like they can be for the winter. Like I might keep them out for the winter. You wanna come close the vlog with me? Do you wanna say thanks for watching? 
Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you like this video because there will be more coming soon. And like I said before, I think I'm gonna vlog this maybe. And if I do, that will be in the next vlog. Okay, we'll see you next time. Okay, bye.